The Enigma of Amagari Fault In the countryside of Japan, deep within the mountains, it is rumored that there are strange structures within the mountain range. Two hikers, Yoshida and Owaki, decide they are going to explore the mountains to figure out what is happening. As they are hiking, a strange noise raises the hairs on their neck as they turn to the horizon. Curious, the two take a look to be shocked with human-shaped holes all across the mountain. Scientists who are inspecting these strange holes are perplexed by the ominously detailed shapes that have arisen. They then drop a video camera attached to a rope down one of the holes. They slowly drop the camera lower and lower. Their eyes widen with disbelief as they continue to go deep into the abyss. Yoshida then runs to the site saying she has found her hole on the TV earlier that day and needs to find her hole, her size, her fit. Hawaki then states his skepticism as Yoshida is deeply disturbed. A man named Nakagami then walks up to them and says that this hole right here is his. He then gets inside of his hole, which fits perfectly. The scientists rush over to see what happened. A rescue squad then arrives, although nobody can fit in Nagagami's hole. With the hole being so snug tight to his intended human, nothing can be placed down there to rescue Nagagami. The rescue operation goes until sundown. As everyone packs up and leaves, Yoshida and Owaki stay for the night in a tent. While Yoshida and Owaki sleep on the surface, Nakagami continues to go down into the everlasting darkness, slowly morphing his body into something less human. Awaki and Yoshida wake up the next morning to Yoshida telling Awaki that she found her hole. They walk over to it. Yoshida starts shaking uncontrollably, an internal urge to fit into what is her. Yoshida says, this is my tunnel, my hole. It was made for me to enter. As she stares into her hole, the hole stares back at her, slowly pulling her in with every breath. Okawi then grabs her and carries her away. The crowd then arrives later that morning, with one man frantically jumping into his hole saying, This is my hole. I have to go in. Yoshida is now screaming that she has to enter her hole, even though she knows she will die in there. As Okawi tries to snap her out of it, she stares at her hole. Their persuasive attraction is staring back, telling her to come. Okawi then fills her hole with rocks and brings her back to the tent to sleep once again. Owaki dreams that night of a hole that was his. He walks to it and in it without any hesitation, just a will. As he slowly goes down, lower and lower, he feels it get tighter, longer and painful. The hole is designed in a disturbing manner, of which it does not kill you, but preserves you and your mind. As you wondrously slide down your limbs elongate, with nothing to do but to stare into the abyss, Owaki then wakes up in the middle of the night in shock. He then finds that Yoshida has left. Owaki then walks to her hole and finds that there are no rocks and that she has entered. He collapses out of sheer trauma and lays down and turns on his flashlight. It shines a hole, his hole. He stares at it in a trans-like state, saying, This is my hole. He gets up, walks in, and enters. The next morning, a group of scientists go to the strange site to find the human holes have turned into natural-looking cracks on a mountain. They look down to find something truly horrific.